Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the corner. Today, we got some rusty gold on the table. <laughs> Pulled out the uh, Fireball Roberts car that I built quite a few years ago. Uh, this was done as a what if car. You know, what if Ro Fireball Roberts would have campaigned a dirt car for one season just to see how it was? What would a car look like? Well, this is kind of the rendition that I came up with and pulled out and decided to put together and build. And this is what I came up with. <laughs> um, I don't know, well, the wheels probably aren't period correct, but I just thought they'd look good on it. So I put the wide fives on it. Built using the AMT 57 Ford. Uh, let's see. Yeah, about there. You can see all the the holes in the body side or in the door where the chrome trim used to used to be up front the chrome trims has been painted over kind of like you know similar to what they did back in the day they just painted over the chrome trim or popped it off and left the clips on or what have you this one too has got the rust in the rear quarters rust hole in the door bottom edge is rusted out bit in the front fender uh, the rust that you see here is that sophisticated finishes. The rust that you see dusted in up here, this is done with my with real rust that I use out of the tubs and such. Same with the wheels. The hubs and the tires were dusted with the rust. Tops of the fender have been rusted out. Front edge of the hood. Now the grill... I took my Dremel and worked it from the back and I ground away the back side of it just to open up the vents in the grill. I ground away the excess plastic off the back side of the grill and got it to where it thinned out and opened up the grill vents on it. Kind of a tedious task, but it worked. Took and broke a couple of them just to make it look like it was broken up or fractured in the races and stuff. Spin the car around here. This is the passenger side of it. Same rust applies. <laughs> Flat tires, I just heated these up with a torch and just kind of melted them into the top of the tabletop just to flatten them out. Give them that flattened look. I'll show you the other side here quick. Got holes in the floorboard. Holes in the trunk floor and the spare tire well, what used to be there. In around back. I just use evergreen plastic filled in the tail lights. Up front, I just used the headlights. I sanded the headlights smooth and put those in just as a cap to the headlight area. In the trunk, I got some junk. Gotta have junk in the trunk, right? <laughs> Rusted out on the inside of the uh, rear quarters. Trunk floor. Rear package tray has some rust up in it. And down along the inside of the windshield frame. Roll cage is just out of the <clears throat> out of the box. Rusted out the underside of the deck lid as well. On this the driver's side door still opens. It doesn't stay put too well, but that's what the interior looks like. Got a piece of wood laying in there, just like it's laying in the, you know, the car's been sitting somewhere. They just threw a piece of wood inside, whatever. Piece of foam on the seat for extra padding. <laughs> Uh, 
seat probably isn't period correct either, but that's all right. Not too bad, built up pretty good. Yeah, can't get the hood open. Inside the engine compartment. It's got the fan, fan laying off to the side like somebody's pulling something apart and just threw it up inside. Back side, underside of the hood's rusted. Dented the roof to make it look like the roof you know, had gotten crushed down over the years and then the water had pooled up on the roof over time after years and years of water pooling there started rustling the roof out. Now again with the <clears throat> the rusting on this all I did was ground took my Dremel bit and ground through the back side of it. You can grind along the back side of it and then you can take an exacto knife and pluck these little chunks out to make it look like like a rust hole then apply the rust to it to detail it out. The decals, I think they got those, these are aftermarket. I forget where I got them from. I know the Fireball Roberts kit came out, I think two years after I built this. So I could have gotten them there, but had I known it was coming out. But uh, yeah, these, like I say, they're aftermarket. I forget where I ever got them. I just ended up using a friend of mine had them left over from the build that he was building. Didn't need them. I'm like, well, I can use them. So he added a, adding it to the rest of the sheet to me. So go for it. So that's where the decals came into play and the idea came into play about doing a, a what if Fireball Roberts car. Just kind of throw something together with it and hoped it stuck on the wall. So <laughs> fun, fun. It was fun to build. Kind of a cool idea at the time. I don't know. May not stand up too well nowadays, but it's fun to build. For those of you that haven't seen the other video that I've done, I, don't, I didn't pull the other bottle out, but this is the sophisticated finishes. They've got a metalizer part that you brush on first, and then you put this on. This is just a liquid inside of here this you just brush on over top of the metalizer and then it turns and then you put it in a bag for like 24 hours and then it rusts up and it turns to this right here yeah. <clears throat> that's the finish it'll give you i just added a little bit of the dry dry rust and dust it on there just to add a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more realism just to give it a little bit more character if you will done quite a few well, i've done probably i don't know six seven cars kind of with the same rusting method on it the 60 impala that you all have already seen the gasser and then i've done it to a few demo cars along with my general lee that you all just saw a couple days ago and i think that's about all i've done with it i think i've weathered a couple a couple semis too just kind of add a little depth and a little bit of a you know, weathering to the chassis and stuff on a couple semis, but that's about it. Um, yeah, I'm just looking back at my display case here. I think that's all I've done with the two or three demo cars, and then these the three cars that you, you've seen here recently. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my little rust bucket here. All the last couple ones. I wanted to do another one here coming up, and I was thinking I got a buddy of mine that's got a couple of demo cars that he wants me to do for him. And I was going to show the uh, the way I heat them up and dent them, crunch them up, and then uh, show also show using those same cars how I do the weathering. Kind of do a tutorial on each one, separate them, whatever, and do a couple different tutorials on them. But yeah, that's my. Uh, what if car to fireball roberts uh, had he campaigned a dirt car for a year and just to see what it was like now whether he won or not we don't know but it's uh what if what do you think <laughs> who knows 
anyway hope everybody's having a good day take care everyone enjoy your day um for those of you that have been watching haven't subscribed yet would appreciate the subscription click the button click the like button leave a comment down below thanks again to all of you that have subscri have subscribed i can't talk this morning uh, appreciate the support appreciate everybody's comments getting to know everyone kind of cool to share ideas and get in touch with everybody and get to know y'all and uh then i think i'm gonna cut you loose and do a little scratch in here got a couple novas that are kind of calling my name over here then again that could be the squirrels but you know you never know anyway take care everyone have a good day enjoy your day keep scratching that plastic and we'll see you on the corner